Good morning guys. Last we left off it was about 5 a.m. and right now it is 5 p.m. and I would like to say that I did end up falling asleep at about 5 in the morning so my alarm went off at 10 and I did what any normal person would do and that's immediately turn it off. And then luckily I had a backup alarm for 10.30 and I did what any normal person would do, hit the snooze button. And Saskia's like punching me. She's like, hey, you got a call. Wake up. Stop being so lazy. And I said, I've got nine minutes. I'll sleep. And of course she said, you can't sleep for nine more minutes because then you'll wake up and you'll sound raspy morning voice. And then you'll just sound like an, like an idiot on the phone. So she got up and made me a coffee. And then I dragged myself out of bed, brushed my teeth, plopped down on the computer, and there was a coffee waiting for me. And it was great. So when I said I went to my computer, I was actually getting a phone call to my computer. And it wasn't by Skype, it was by Google Voice. Which is great because now I like rarely use my cell phone because anytime I'm at my computer, which is most of the time, unless I'm out, I have a Google Voice number and so anyone can call that Google Voice number and it just rings my phone, which is connected to Google Voice, and my laptop. So when I'm on my computer, my computer rings, so you have an incoming phone call, I click accept and I have unlimited long distance phone calls. That's amazing. So I've been making almost all of my phone calls through Google Voice now. And I suggest you guys can possibly look into it as well and save yourself some long distance charges. Look at all that sexy blue. That's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. Are you shooting my crotch again? No, just your what shorts! I just wanted to see how you're blue! Shoot my, this area Let's go blue man. Three guys in an elevator with good lighting. You notice that? No. Is this actually good lighting? It's, this is like social network lighting. Uh -oh. Like a Joel's face? Should we like talk really fast okay. over each other while we say like No, we should totally talk over each other. It's a little smart. overexposed, yeah, but like smarter. that really oh, yeah, yeah, soft. Everybody that's smarter. Uh, the oh, shadows okay, pull down. It's not the social network. You know, network. know what's cooler than uh, elevators? Grocery stores. You know what's cool? A billion grocery stores. Yeah. That's the cloud. Good one, Corey. Thanks. You know what's, Thanks, Joel. You know what's cool? Grocery stores. You know what's even cooler? Sanitizing wipes. <laughs> and this girl. There's so much fun that could be had with this. Because it could be like a staff. It's a tiki torch and for like a it, little barbecue. It, it, see, it could be a staff. Do you guys have barbecues in Canada? Right? No. You heard of them? You guys eat outside? That's what? weird. In the sunlight. It's outside. Oh, it's so go, beautiful walk, out. you go like this, then suddenly you're like on a broomstick. But what game would you play? What's it called? What's Quidditch. it called? Oh, look at you. And then, you know all the Harry Potter stuff. Yeah, all of, all of the things. What's a spell that Harry likes to use? You know this one. He only knows one uh, spell, really. The one with the, the white misty stuff that shoots out. Whoa. That's called, uh, don't tell me. But he does use that one, too. I expect you to get it. Expecto Patronum. There it is. Uh, Accio, what you have. Oh, Accio. <laughs> <laughs> I was going for I was going for expelling Armist, which knocks things out of people's yeah, hands. Which he does Whoa. all the time. That's his his number one go to is expelling yeah. Armist. Well, it's because like like if you had lightsaber, okay, let's say you have a lightsaber, yeah. and let's I have say lightsaber. I have a lightsaber and I can use the force. Yeah. Wouldn't I just like? Uh, no. And then then it's just like oh you're dead. Like that's what yeah. Expelliarmus. It's like oh I took away your weapon. You're supposed to take me inside the store. Now. Did we just get thrown out of a grocery store? I mean no. I have never been thrown out of it. I was ready to buy the tiki things. Right. They were two for five dollars. We could have had a barbecue. We could have had a barbecue. We don't have barbecues in I'm Canada. walking backwards, not sure where I'm going. Hello vlog, as you may or may not have noticed from very quick glances in previous vlogs, I got a haircut. Yeah. Uh, and the reason I got a haircut is because my friend's wedding is this Saturday and my hair was a disaster and I wanted to... Perfect. I needed to look presentable, so I got a haircut, and everything is all coming together. It's the friend that I did all the Footloosey things for, for that shower. Um, her wedding's this Saturday, and I had to iron my dress today, which is terrifying. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you already know this, but we got our uh, bridesmaids dresses, and they came all crinkly and crappy looking, so I had to iron it, which is terrifying because it's a dress that I can't just replace. Um, so if I do something wrong, I'm just, just just bad, just bad. So I would recommend to you, if you ever get in the situation of having to iron a bridesmaid's dress, do it, <laughs> what are you doing? Do it ahead of time, not two days before the actual event, uh, because that's just silly, and that will cause you to panic. Today was the rehearsal, uh, so I just came back from practicing all of the walking down the aisle stuff and the 
hanging out at the front while they do their get a married thing and then um we're actually doing a dance as well at the event which will be just freaking hilarious we practiced that that was great and went really well not really um and the reason i'm telling you all of this is because you guys are actually going to come with us on saturday i'm going down to hang out with mary my friend uh um tomorrow and then i'm going to stay overnight and then we're going to do all of the getting ready things in the morning and then Corrado is actually going to come on Saturday uh, and come to the wedding and he's gonna bring you guys so you'll get to see me be in a wedding party and perform uh, a Backstreet Boys dance so that'll be fun and exciting <laughs> right? What are you doing? It's really loud oh. It's really, it's a loud thing. And I wanted to vlog it, but I don't want to shout. You never shout, Corey. No, I think I, 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 I like to think that I speak with my abdomen. And with all of your whole body. Yeah. It's just, my feet are in there, I speak, I speak with my hands a lot. Have you ever seen Corey speak without using his hands in the vlog? Very rarely. Very rarely. Well, I'm speaking right now. And you're using both of your hands. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right, this is done. This can go off. Oh. Do you like my air mattress? I don't. What? It's I like a giant cupcake. I, I love it. Oh. Uh, it's so sweet. <laughs> Do you want to cuddle on it? No. Do you want to come on this air mattress and cuddle with me? You're leading me on, and I will not have it. Alex, I just I miss Tim. And I've got you, you know? <laughs> Tell me about your day. Wait, where's... I wish Joel would just lay on us. <laughs> um, what happened today? Tell me about your day. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do oh, today? <laughs> I went to the gym and ate spinach like you. I did that too. And then I played, I, I rehearsed for LeakyCon, which is a show that I'm playing in a week in Portland. That's what I did. Portland seems like a leaky place. It is. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Harry Potter conference it's that I'm playing. There a lot. Oh, it's true. It's very green. <laughs> Do they have leaky cons in the United Kingdom? Like, why America? There is a leaky con in London this year. Actually. Oh, okay. So there's more than one leaky con every there, year? This is the first year they're doing two. But yeah. Wow. So if you are a Harry Potter fan, it's definitely something to look into. There's concerts and panels and all sorts of cool stuff. It's very fun. Are there are there really still Star Wars? Yeah, they do Star Wars celebration. But that's like the official it like, is, Star yeah, Wars. It's but super official. There's not yeah. like a fan conference that's huge like that. Not really, no. The next one is, oh. is Celebration Europe. Oh, and we I'm, should go. Well, let's go. It's in, in Europe. Europe. It's really far. It is so far away. So, so far. far. It couldn't. I mean, it could be further, but it it's, could. It could be like it's in Japan. Yeah. Let's go to Japan. But if we're in California, Japan's not that far. The Pacific Ocean is still very large. It's very. It's like half the planet. Wait, it doesn't get smaller the closer you get to it. What? <laughs> I'm saying that, that <laughs> the, I think the camera did a double. <laughs> <laughs> I think that it's like the same distance from here to London as it is from here to Tokyo. Well, if you get it wrong. Everyone will let you know in the comments. Yeah, thanks, yeah. <laughs> because I said that the United Kingdom spanned multiple time zones. What? You did? All I, I thought like Are you, did you I thought including Northern Ireland. No. no. You so it's bad. so it's so small. It's so small it all fits in one time zone. It's like the size Canada's of Canada's in like five and a half time zones. Canada's very spread out. Canada's the second largest country in the world. That's not true. It's true. Really? Russia's number one. And then Canada. Then Canada. Yeah. And you guys have just no barren wasteland. Canada is the no. second largest landmass, the first nation of hockey, and the best part of North America. And I live there. <laughs> I laughed and then I farted. <laughs> it's true. He did both of those things. <laughs> My hands are getting tired. I'm gonna okay. go to bed. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>